here's the story. It's not really one of those too spooky for me paranormal stories. The day before yesterday, I was out walking alone in the woods in a northern Scandinavia. I suddenly realized that the ravens are making a hell of a racket fighting over something. I figure it's probably a cadaver, and since I know the landowner, I figured I should investigate and inform him if I find anything odd. So I start walking over to the approximate location of the suspected cadaver, and sure enough, I see something lying on the ice of a frozen creek a bit further ahead. I start noticing puddles of blood around the cadaver in the snow, along with tracks that indicate a short but brutal struggle. I take a look at the cadaver and see it's a small roe deer. The odd thing is that it was an immaculate shape, with the exception of the neck which has been eaten. Nothing else on the cadaver shows any signs of injury, which is very odd because whatever killed this deer, it wasn't wolves or an eagle. So I kneel down to the cadaver to have a closer look. I reach out to move its neck to get a better look at the bite marks, and that's when I realize it. It is still fucking warm. And not just lukewarm, it's full body temperature warm. Now it's pretty cold out, about negative 13 Celsius, with a strong wind chill. So it would have only taken a short while for the cadaver to start freezing. But even the blood on the ice was still liquid. Whatever killed this thing is still around here somewhere. At this point, I get really paranoid and start looking around, but I don't see anything. So I take a closer look at the bite marks on the neck. The large blood vessels and the trachea have been bitten off very cleanly. It looks like something cut them with sharp scissors. So whatever killed this deer has very sharp scissor-like teeth made specifically for cutting through flesh efficiently. I look for tracks in the surrounding area, but I can't find any that make sense. The largest paw prints that I find nearby are only slightly larger than fox prints, and it certainly was not a fox that killed this deer. I don't feel like staying any longer, so I snap a few photos and get the fuck out. On the way back, I call the landowner and tell him about it. He walked out there about 45 minutes later, but he never found the carcass. He found where it had been, and then the drag marks. Three fucking kilometer long drag marks that lead out and over a frozen lake that he didn't want to cross. I asked him if he saw any tracks, but he didn't see any either. Now this is really freaking me out. The only natural thing that I know kills like that is an arctic lynx, but they are quite large and leave paw prints much larger than anything I could find. And they don't drag dead deer for three fucking kilometers in less than an hour. Here's some bloodstains and shit. Looks like the deer was laying dead on the ice for a while since it has melted the snow and the ice. Then there are some drag marks. My guess is that the creature had just killed the deer and eaten a bit of it. Then it started dragging it off, but it only got a few meters before I came trundling conspicuously through the woods and chased it off. Also, this creature must be very light since it doesn't leave tracks and it could easily walk around in ice that was far too weak to bear me.